Dear friends, in this video, I will walk you through AEM 6 World for core components. Here's the learning objectives. After this demo, we will have an idea on AEM core components. We will see a walkthrough of core components in V Retail site. Let me log into the AEM. Here we have tools. Components. So we have the component browser and all the components are listed here. You can see the various categories of components. So now we are interested in core components. So we have two types of core components. First one is a page related standard core components and the form related core components. So let us go to the standard page core components. You can see in the right hand pane all the core components are listed. Now, if we look into this section, we have page components as versions V1 and V2. So I have installed two versions of page component in this AEM. So let me go to the V1 version. You can see that resource type is apps core WCM components page V1 page. So remember, this is the default path for core components. And you can see a documentation, a description, features, what are all the features available, and related to loading JS, CSS, etc., and which is the use class object referring to. We have component policy configuration properties described here and any edit properties, client libraries related, also some additional information about this component. If you see the version two, This is referring to the V2 version. And the documentation talks about similar things. Now, if you see the form related core components, even all the components are under apps core WCM components. We have versions in this case also. Now let me go to a vRetail page which uses any of this core component. Here we have text and title, so let me go to the text. You can see that the resource type is referring to the vRetail page. The resource super type which is referring from the core component path. So as of now, there is no policies defined. So in live usage, you can see that these are all the other pages which is referring this component. Let me go to the thank you page. Here you can see that the component is used. This shows the text name of the component here in the right hand side. And we have an inheritance option. We can cancel the inheritance. If you tell yes, you will have your own edit options which were not available previously. So this is how we work with the core components. Here is a summary. We have seen below thing this in this video. A walkthrough of our AEM core components. What you may do now. Please subscribe this channel and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.